So check it out, straight out of the DoD Lamp Series pedals from the mid-90s. This is the Death Metal Distortion. Let's hear it. As I mentioned, this is this is out of the lamp series, kind of, sorta. It uh, you know, there's been a lot of different versions of this pedal that have come out over the years, both in the DoD line and later in the Digitech line. Uh, this is the 86B variant. Uh, you know, this one's got the red and black, you know, the the red and black graphics, or the, I'm sorry, the red and black paint job on it, but it doesn't have the, you know, the the weird graphic, you know, death metal distortion graphic on it. So. Uh, but it does have the, uh, you know, the cool Lamb Series names underneath the knobs, which in this one is Rip, Rest in Peace, Guts, Pain, and Scream. And uh, if you want to know what those are, up there on the top, we'll decipher them, which is level, low, mid, and high. There's not even a distortion you know, or a gain control on this pedal. It is what it is. You know, you can control the level, you can, you know, you can dial the EQ, and, you know, as you can see, I crank the mids pretty much all the way up, and you can dial the other three knobs to taste. You know, based on the amp that I'm playing through, that's what you got. Actually, it sounds pretty cool in a mix. It, it does sound okay in a mix on its own. 
yeah, it's I mean, it's not my favorite metal distortion, but it's you know, it it'll get the job done again, particularly in a mix as long as it's being EQ'd properly. So cool pedals. <laughs> Once again, thanks to Josh Scott, these things are going up in value. I think I had to pay about eighty bucks or so to get a hold of this one, and that's actually that's after they've come down and re, you know in the last couple of years. You know, after the JHS show did the the video on the Lamb series pedal pedals back in twenty. I think it was 2019 that video came out. Uh, you know, the, the prices of all of these things skyrocketed. In particular, the one uh, a, a distortion called the Corrosion that I've been looking for ever since, and that one's still selling for 250, 300 bucks. So these have come down to be somewhat more reasonable, but you can't pick them up anymore for 30 or 40 bucks all over the place like you used to be able to. Such is life. Check it out. I'll post an eBay link in the description if you want to go check it out. Adios.